Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, December 29th, 2010. I'm Eric Shiner with Right Now on CNSNews.com. It's almost the end of the year and things are getting a little crazy. Hey, hey, little monkeys. I've been waiting to play that for some time. The musical monkeys sang lyrics, the monkeys in zoos, well, some of them, at least, will be getting poetry at a cost of almost $1 million from taxpayers. One of the many examples of wasteful government spending in Senator Tom Coburn's Waste Book 2010 report. Now, among them is that federal grant directing money to infuse zoos around the United States with snippets of poetry. Two paths diverged in a zoo. I took the one laden with poetry, and that has made all the difference. Find out what your tax dollars are paying for this year by checking out the article. Many organizations are putting out their end of the year top 10 lists. The National Guard is among them, releasing their top 10 missions of the year. The number one mission in 2010 was responding to the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. And the number two mission was providing support for the Department of Homeland Security and policing the U.S.-Mexico border. Find out the other list toppers as well as the reasoning behind that list in Edwin Mora's article. And something that some expected to be a top list attraction of the Democrats' health care law, well, it's not getting the response expected. The new health care law allows people who are already sick to get health insurance, but some people who need the coverage can't afford the insurance premiums, according to a report in the Washington Post. Now, the newspaper reported that in a few states, claims for medical care covered by the high-risk pools are proving to be very costly. Susan Jones takes a closer look in her article. And we want you to be properly diagnosing the issues and staying informed by clicking around right now on cnsnews.com. Most Americans believe that the media have a liberal bias. And the Media Research Center proves it every day. The Media Research Center, America's media watchdog.